Today at Chat State with Kristen Anderson, Isabella Hatfield, and Jasmine Daly with your local weather. Hey, I'm Kristen Anderson. And I'm Isabella Hatfield. How's your day going so far? I mean, it's been pretty good, just taking it hour by hour. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, some things to be aware of on campus. Most importantly, campus is moving to a modified version of Phase 2 of the COVID response plan. Campus safety officials are watching as case counts rise in our community and COVID-19 exposures on campus have increased demands for cleaning and disinfecting. Phase 2 of the plan involves closing campus to the general public and classes will be group meetings and they will be virtual. Some programs will still be allowed to access campus by special permission only. The only modification to Phase 2 is that both the Child Development Center and Food Services Cafe will remain open for people still working on campus. Well, that's a bummer, but there really hasn't been a lot of people on campus anyways. But at least we've got Thanksgiving break coming up soon, and that means no classes on Wednesday through Friday the week of Thanksgiving. I just cannot wait for that turkey, but it has to be cooked at the perfect temperature. And speaking of temperature, hey Jasmine, what's our weather looking like today? Today is gray skies after big rains swept through on Wednesday. Those are well east of us now. Slightly warmer than average temperatures for the next couple of days and then cooler temps next week. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast. High today of 70 degrees and cloudy, sunny on Friday and Saturday with temps in around the 70s. Then we'll start seeing some showers on Sunday followed by clear skies and colder weather next week. Back to you. McDonald's is known for its on name brands. There's the Big Mac, Chicken Nuggets, the McFlurry, and now there's the McPlant. The fast food chain's new meatless burger, but the McPlant is getting Mick mocked. CNN's Gene Moose explains. Remember when burger chains used to ask, Where's the beef? Well, lately it's been, Where's the plant? Even McDonald's announced it's sprouting a plant based burger, which they plan to call the McPlant. The name is getting grilled. McPlant is the laziest name. McPlant is a pretty bad name, but what do you expect from the people who called their fish sandwich filet fish when quarter flounder was right there for the taking? People aren't whining about the taste of a meatless burger. McDonald's tested the concept in Canada last year with the makers of Beyond Meat, which gets rave reviews from YouTube chefs. Mmm. Mmm. That's insane. Wonderful. Less wonderful? McPlant. Mashable asks, can you think of a better name? Suggestions range from the Big Unmac to McNotta Burger to Planty McPlant Face. Damn, Hamburglar must be pissed. Yikes! Actually, McDonald's first meatless burger got a short-lived trial run back in the 60s. The Hula Burger consisted of grilled pineapple slices with cheese on a toasted bun. Now that's way beyond even a Beyond Burger. What? You like them? I've never had my animals react to a veggie burger the way they react to these things. The McPlant will arrive in select McDonald's restaurants somewhere in the world sometime next year. Posted someone picturing me in 2021 enjoying my Pfizer vaccination with a quarter pound McPlant. You deserve a break today. Give us a break from McPlant. Make that McFacePlant. Genimos, CNN. Are this kitty cat approved? New York. I just can't see that being enjoyable as someone who likes meat, but I'll definitely give it a try. Yeah, I gotta agree with you on that one. That's just, I feel like it's just taking it over the top with that. Yeah, um, well, that is it for today at Chat State. Be sure to watch us online and in the amphitheater. Have a great day. Scene one, Apple take, scene one, Apple take two.